to the channel guys if you saw the last episode got the E36 dyno tune car is performing excellently unfortunately the weather outside is absolutely terrible so for the time being the E36 is going into winter mode I'm not gonna drive it when there's salt and snow and ice on the roads and it's you know in the teens Stop blowing holes in my ship. and I hate the cold so lots of projects to do on the E36 now if you saw the dyno tune video you know that we had spark plug wire issues so we're gonna take care of that today and then we're going to dive into the main part of the video, the interior of the car. I'm really starting to get the inside dialed in. I got the Android Auto Apple CarPlay head unit in there, the double din replaced all the speakers. So now the sound system in the car is way, way better. Now what the car is missing is the headliner and the A pillar, B pillar, C pillars. It's missing all that. I finally found a headliner, a used one. So we're gonna strip the old headliner off and then we're gonna wrap it in some Alcantara. Also I have some A pillars, but still need to get B and C. In addition, that box over there that I've had in the garage for a while is a rear seat delete. So we're gonna be diving into that as well. And to do that, I gotta remove the roll bar, I gotta remove the seat, so I got a lot of stuff to do. This is a pretty jam-packed episode, so let's just go ahead and get started swapping these new ceramic spark plug wires. This is the side where they were extra, extra burnt and crispy. This one was really causing problems on the dyno. And I believe this one was too. Ooh. Oh, this was the bad one, Never mind. Yeah. This, this heat shield burnt through and it just went right through this wire. Not good. Much, much better. So you guys should be able to see now, there's, I got a nice air gap between each of those. So I shouldn't have any more problems. Same thing on this side. And these, well, <laughs> they're basically junk. Let's swap over and start working on the headliner and getting that prepped. All right, you gotta peel this off first. This is like tilted down. Can they see it? Thank you. 
to wrap a pillar. Ooh, nice. I'm pretty freaking happy with how the headliner and pillars turned out. Still a couple little more small holes to cut, etc. But it looks really, really good. This Alcantara turned out pretty nice. I'm super happy with it. It's gonna make the inside of the car so much nicer. Still have to get the B and C pillars. I gotta find them somewhere. But yeah, happy with that. I've gotta take out a lot of the interior of the car to get these things installed. Not fun. I get faster every time I do this. It's super easy to get these things out of here, which is awesome. Seats are out. Let's unbox the Hard Motorsport Rear Seat Elite. Nice. Oh, this is the bottom part. Just to clarify, this isn't just a delete that deletes the back part of the seats, like the upright portion. It does the bottom portion too that you sit on. It's all together. It should look pretty nice. Let's kind of piece it together here and see what it looks like. It'll sit like something like that. I dig it. Gonna have to do some trimming, obviously, for the roll bar. That's why I've been putting this off, because I'm gonna take the roll bar out and get it powder coated and do all, all sorts of stuff. So looks like a nice, a nice unit. Ah, yes, like that. Okay, roll bar is completely loose. I guess I'll try to get the rear back seats out now. Oh, yes. Got all the seats out. Good start. All right, installing nut certs. So I got the front two, one on each post. I'm sitting on the other one. But anyway, you drill those out, put in nut certs, and up here, there are more nut certs I have to install, and I don't remember how this comes off. So this has to get out of the way. That's next. Oh, that sucks. That's the big suck. That's a gosh darn nice fit, I will say that. Maybe it'll be worth it in the end. Probably not. This is a lot of annoying work. I pulled the rear partial shelf out. Here are all the four rib nuts. You're supposed to drill them out and use M4, but the holes were already too big from the factory. So I drilled them out and, and I'm now using M5 that I already had laying around. So I'm gonna do some cleaning up back here, clean up the actual parcel shelf itself. Now we can start fitting all this stuff in here. And actually, that's, it's getting late. That's gonna be a wrap for tonight. We'll pick up tomorrow. It was, uh, it was a lot of frustrating, cramped work, so I, I need a break. We'll pick up tomorrow. Slightly unrelated here, but if you guys are looking for an OBD2 scanner, Ansel just sent this one out to me. It's Bluetooth. Plug it into the OBD2 port, download the app, goes right to your phone. Super, super simple to use. Just plug this right in, open the app, and you're good to go. Something I'll be keeping in the toolbox for future diagnostics. Link to this product will be in the description box.
Okay, so fitment on this thing looks really, really, really good, actually. So now I got one bolt in each side of the roll bar up front, just to try to get that position. This is the tricky part. This is where I gotta figure out how I'm gonna cut that back section and not completely screw it up. So that's what I'm working on now. Those are the only cuts I have to make is for those back pieces on either side. But fitment's really good. This, you see it says like a kind of a wave there, but it's this isn't bolted down. Once it's bolted down, that should be good. It looks super nice. Like it fits, it just fits really nicely with the OEM door cards and the, the rear parcel shelf and everything. I'm, I'm pretty pumped with this hard motor sport rear seat delete. I can't wait to have everything installed. Now on to some marking and some cutting, hopefully accurate cuts. So basically I measured the edge and then the middle. Basically this is just gonna be a circle all the way because this will slide over. Cut number two. Well, hot dog, boys. I think we got it. Probably stand to trim a little more from the inside towards the center, but I mean, that is pretty freaking good. Man, I'm pumped about that. This thing looks freaking sweet. Just wait until the roll bar is freshly nice and powder coated and reinstalled. Time to get this roll bar out of here so I can chip it off the powder coated. I get this thing in here I don't know now I think we're making progress oh, there we go. Move it. oh dear god why am I doing this alone what an absolute disaster I don't understand how I did this before. This sucks. I am straight up not having a good time. That, that just, that sucked. And you know what the worst part about it is? Yeah, that wasn't there before. Look what I did. What? No, look. Oh. You drew a flower? <laughs> How did you crack it? Taking the roll bar out. No. Yeah, it's not good. Now I need a new one. Nice shirt. Got it on BoostedApexDesigns.com. Oh, yeah, buddy. What do you think? Like, look at how much nicer it looks already. Just with that. 